I should probably put the switch controllers away. Okay. Oh, failed to put the switch controllers away. There we go. Ba -ba. you doing friend poor Foss is okay thanks he's um he's had a sleepy biscuit which is why he's snoozing next to slow's foot um there's quite a lot of fireworks going off nowhere near as bad as yesterday but it only takes one to upset him so but he's doing okay how are you Hey RNG, how you doing friend? Let's hope that this works. Yeah, it works. Um, before we get started, if folks want to let me know if the sound's too loud or too quiet or if me and Slow are too loud or too quiet. I mean, Slow's not saying anything right now, so. But, um. Because I've, I've fucked around with it, but, you know. Hey, Zathio. How you doing, friend? Glad to hear it. Hey Panda, how you doing? Maybe check when in game, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. There was a little bit, um, when I booted it up initially that was really quite loud, but it doesn't seem to want to turn that bit down, so hopefully it'll be okay. Oh, do love a good nap. Hey Ivan, how you doing buddy? Oh, it's okay. Um, fucking tagging new blood as well. What? They are the publisher. They are. You you tagged the publisher of this game. They are sufficiently in my go live dudes. tweet. Yes. Okay. New blood guys are alright. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing. Everything. Who knows? <sighs> okay. So, for the record, folks. I have never played this. Slow has played this demo. I haven't. He said, why don't you play Gloomwood? And I went, the fuck is that? So that tells you about where I'm at with this. Um, I mean, it certainly looks like my kind of game. It looks spooky enough. Um, but I will be experiencing this for the first time. And you get to heckle along with Slow. As I do so. Also, there's no controller support for this game, so I've got my, like, wonky ass weirdo keyboard on my lap and I'm just really hoping that I can do the keyboard controls without Gloomwood my hand locking. Is a lovely little game by a couple of fine fellows and being published by New Blood. <laughs> exactly, Panda. Um New Blood are behind several very interesting boomer shooter TM games. A bigger pun? Very nineties throwback Quake Doom Duke Nukem build engine oh. jank shootery stuff. Is this something that you've 
learnt about because of that YouTube channel you've nope. been binging. I heard okay. about Grimwood early this year okay. during the big Steam demo thing alongside uh, a handful of other demos. Grimwood was, was one of the ones I actually put a lot of time into because it was just curious. And because it's a game in the vein of something like Thief from the 90s, for those who remember the 90s. I remember the 90s. Um, this is not a game that's out yet, unfortunately. It's coming soon, and it looks fucking fantastic, if you ask me. Um, it is a game that encourages multiple approaches. Thief, Thief games, games are very are weird. weird. <laughs> In the best way. Cool. I've never actually played Thief. I own one of them. You should. Thief's a good Or owned games. one of them. I think I owned the first one. I've probably got them all on Steam. You know what I'm like. I'm a digital uh, hoarder. Um, yeah, so, so there, there's... there's New Blood have published a medieval, which is a Hexen style fucking. Oh, they're behind that. Yes. I've heard of that. See, and, um, I, Blood, I'm down with the kids. Which is this amazingly spooky fucking Cthulhu in the end? Fair panda. Um, I mean, I mean if, if if you wanted to to fucking play a game and fight Cthulhu, Blood is the game for you. Um, also, can may I not or may be not... friends with Cthulhu? No, also Aww. may or may not have, have ties in with other fucking earlier shooters okay. and stuff, which is really fun. So I'm um, gonna I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna start the game and we'll see how we go. Okay. Old and Gare had a crush on Garrett. I mean Garrett's VA. Okay, I'm I'm gonna go for not quite yeah. baby mode, but like medium level mode. Um Cthulhu saves the world, yes. Um that's getting a physical copy. Uh, through limited run games uh, next week I think it is so nice. if you're a Cthulhu Saves the World kind of person, I think it's Cthulhu Saves Christmas that's getting it wait, what? this is actually a game you're not taking the piss? no, I own Cthulhu Saves the World oh, um, but yeah, if you like Cthulhu Saves Christmas, it's getting a, a physical copy through limited run games um, I can't remember how much it is, but it's coming out like in the next week or so, so uh, yeah. check their Twitter Portos is in his lovely shirt because the world is outside is exploding because people are assholes. Yeah, um, Porthos is a, a little bit strange of of a doggo. He uh, he likes people clothes. People clothes make him calm. Doggo clothes do not make him calm. So we bought him a couple of toddler shirts, right. and he loves them. I like to turn the office lamp off. Why are we turning the light off? For atmospheric, but then they won't. Be, then people won't really see the dog. Never mind. I had a plan. My plan has failed. Well, you could turn the lamp down. I could turn the lamp down. So and the lamp then there would be a little bit of doggo and a little bit of atmosphere. Right. Is that better? Ah, uh, Oh, thank you for the treats, RNG. Porthos is currently doped up, so I'm just gonna put the treat. He's on the on the desk and I'll give it to him later. There we go. Oh my god, you've got mood lighting on the dog and you've woke him up. And awesome. you've darkened everything else down so that we can get the atmosphere. atmosphere. Hey Bubby. Orangey gave you a treat. Want it? No. Too scary outside for treats right now, isn't it, baby? Okay. Um okay, no treats, only scratches tonight. Thank you for the scratches, Theo. On the plus side buff, you missed basically nothing. So that's, that's Other than us fucking gone. about. Yes. Okay, well, so... Tw twiddle the brightness to make sure it's not up too high or too low. I already twiddled it okay. um, when I tested it before. And for once, I don't have to twiddle it. It's great. Oh, Waggy Tail, who's a good boy? Because my hand's back here. Oh. So now you all get dog butt. Yeah, he spooked. He's trying to be as close to slow as possible, which is really cute. Okay. So I'm in control. Don't mind me, just fucking about with the keyboard controls. Cool. There they are, they're, they're the creators. I missed it because I was jumping. So, so, the, 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 so Gloomwood is an indie game in the true sense of the world. It's made by two guys in a shed. I'm, I'm have, guessing not uh, literally in a shed, but... 
figuratively in a shed. It's made. It's been made by two guys, and that's about it. There have been, as I understand it, there have been minor contributions by will do buff, possibly by other creators, um, possibly through New Blood, their their signed on publisher. But realistically speaking, it's made by two guys. All of this. Uh, slow. You're on Porthos Petun duty, seen as he has elected to hide underneath okay. you from the nasty sky monster. He's, he's only moved over here because my hand was by my side. I know, but he wants to be close to you, and that's cute. He always goes to slow when he's frightened. Yeah, Unless he's frightened of slow. He comes and, and just, just huddles up to me. You wear sky dick. Yeah, that's true. Um, Are you sure you haven't got brightness to it? This is how it told me to set it. I might want to turn the brightness up slightly, because I don't think you could tell that barrel was there until you hit it. Well, I couldn't, you're right, but um, I was actually trying to figure out if there's like a, a use button. Grab command. Yeah, or a grab command or something. That appears to be strafing. That was lean, actually. Well, I can jump on top of the barrel. So that's a good start, I guess. Yeah, let's turn the brightness up a little bit, if we can. Video. Brightness. Oh, ah. Thank you, dear. So ten. Not the no, yeah, not 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 fucking. Sixteen. Yeah, whatever. Well, that's a little better. I can see. I can see the barrels in the corner now. Yeah. That's the important thing. That works. <laughs> Porthos will get revenge on the sky booms when he gets a mega sword. A Porthos sword, if you will. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Gloomwood leans into its roots quite well. I'm happy to say. So. Ah! Ah! So I was pressing the right button when I tried initially, but it wasn't going to let me do anything with it straight away. Fairy snuff. Ah. <sighs> I got drugs. Letter. Yeah, I, I know. Honestly, you'd think I didn't play point and clicks most of the time. Pick everything up. That's how you play video games, right? Doctor, apologies that I could not encounter you in person. For now, take this file and find your way into the manor on the main street. I await your arrival. Signed, G. So you're a doctor. <gasps> Am I the doctor? No. Aww. You ruin all my fun, Slow. You know what? Fuck it. Alon Z. Ooh. I like auto crouch and stuff when I open my. Oh, that's neat. I like that. That's natty, that is. Health in the bottom left. Yes, I can see that. Cool. I must destroy the Daleks. Exactly, buff. Oh shit! That was really well timed. I thought something was going to come out and something. gank me then. <laughs> You're right, Graf. And Raiders. How are How are you all? Uh, right, so I press F to open the door. And then... Oh, and then hold F to push it open a little bit. And then... No? Okay. Look, you, you can either do it slowly or you can do it quickly is what it's trying to tell you. There doesn't seem to be that option when you actually do it, though. Tap. Tap F. There you go. Oh, you have to repeatedly tap. Uh, makes sense. Okay. I got you. I understand now. You can basically inch it open or you can just <laughs> fling it open. Hey, Mudhail. How you doing? Hey, Rocket. Hey, Grox. Hello, everybody. How are you all? <laughs> I am learning how to gloom wood. 
Gloomwood. Oh shit! Seven months, Graf. Nice. Thank you very much. Raid and an anniversary. Fucking mad. Love it. Hey, no, I already figured this one out. Boop. Maybe not. There we go. Okay. <gasps> Stuff. I have acquired sack. Boop. I am mature. And there we growed up. I want to jump. Sack! Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh. Please yield unto poor Foster Scritches from Die Panda. Thank you very much, Panda. Porthos has gone like full splat, hasn't he? No. Look at this platy bubby. Uh, there we go. Is it me or is he sort of migrated towards the light as well? Aww. Pops blat. Yeah, exactly. Be cautious of traversing on loud surfaces. Hold left shifts to sneak. free. Uh, no, Graf, it's the demo. I have never ever played it before, and Slow has played a lot of it by the sounds of things, the and has advised me that I play not available it. Not available yet. Ooh, musics. I hear the musics. It's very pretty, isn't it? I mean, spooky, but pretty. Hello there, ominous figure. I know an omen when I see one. Oh, he sat up. What's up, Splat? <laughs> I think that was, I want to be close to Mumza, but Father's foot is in the way. Curses. Yep, yep. That's exactly what's happening. Hi, baby. <laughs> you want to come up? Hang on, baby. Hang on a minute, folks. I got to shif shuffle over for the doggo. Come on, then. Yeah, who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? So, would you mind getting Porthos cam for me? <laughs> oh, look at his little face. Right, where the fuck was I? Oh yeah. Uh, I need to sit forward so you folks can actually hear me as well, don't I? Aww, that's really cute, Graf. Give the kitty pets from me. Oh, RNG, I know that feeling, friend. I was hoping to find a guide because I've not found all the secrets in the demo. I know oh. I haven't. I don't care about finding all the monocle, secrets. A, mo a, a monocle. A monocle. Do you get to wear it? Yes. Can I? Can I be fancy? It functions as. A <gasps> oh my god! Really? Yes. I want the monocle. Well, I don't know where it is. I want to be a fancy sniper. Is it, uh, well, about that. Um, 
Oh, shit. Um, that man is very dead. Yeah, that man is excruciatingly dead. This witch finder looking motherfucker. Got On the plus side. Now you have a... I have a Mr. Pointy. Oh, it gets better. Put it away. Is it G? No, this is mine. Or is it the one key? It is the one key. I know! I know! I figured that out from the handle. <laughs> Sword cane. Sword cane. Boop. Sorry, dude. You've you've had a rough night. Uh, I'll play with my sword over here. Yes. <laughs> there, there is a guard function. I advise you, you use it. This one. Yeah. See, I figured it out. Wait, wait, I'm not going to use it. You, Fuck you that noise. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! It is I, Hobby Squig, destroyer of barrels. Why? It's fun. I don't know. Okay, first things first, while this game doesn't do physics puzzles, it definitely does do puzzles. So there are, so you, it's not a What you're saying is I'm not allowed to have fun. What I'm saying is, don't necessarily smack <laughs> everything to smithereens, because you might accidentally screw yourself. Oh, exactly, no. Kian. That but is the approach is, I have taken for my that entire life. You get to in the sewers, where defence is definitely not... Well, there are there's a board. You mean this board here? No, left, yeah. down yeah. a bit. No, you've gone too far. Right a bit. There you go. Up a bit. There you go. A board. You've got a sword now. Sword meat board. Boop. Can I open that door? No, I can't. Try. It highlights things that I can interact with. It didn't look like it highlighted it, so. The door is locked. Fun free zone. This stream is not a fun free zone. Not when I'm around. Control. I think. There you go. Ooh. Oh, so is... Sudden lack of sound. Kick the door! It was a metal door. I don't want to break my toes. I'm all for having fun, but uh, that's not my kind of fun. Six hours in A&E? No thanks. Have you noticed the moon in the bottom right? Oh yeah, moon. Mun. The moon dictates um, how visible you are right now. My pop filter blocks it out. <laughs> so I'm just going to have to do this. Like crane my neck over my pop filter. I know, Porthos is an adorable well. little bub. I'm trying to get more Porthos in the, the shot and less me. Cheese! Brother. Cheese! It's an entire wheel of the fucking stuff. It's not an entire wheel, it's a Pac Man of cheese. Somebody has eaten some of this cheese. It's basically a wheel of cheese. It's not. It's basically a wheel of cheese. Chat, tell him. Pick the fucking wheel up. It's not a wheel of cheese. It's three quarters of a wheel of cheese. Look hey, Destroyer, how you doing, something. friend? Am I now? Mm. Am I now? Moving on. Oh, hey, Seamus, how you doing, friend? Sorry, just uh, having a disagreement with Slow about what constitutes a wheel of cheese. Oh dear, Destroyer. Big hugs, friend. Hope you're feeling better soon. Pussos, what are you doing, Bubby? Are you trying to get closer to slow? A little bit. Aww, that's he's, really he's cute. Got, he's got up on the edge of the chair. I mean, yeah, I can see. Oh, he, oh like, look at the little babu. He's so cute. Like that. Ooh. Looking at me. Bullets for a gun I don't have. I'm sure they'll come in handy later. Cheese heel. <laughs> Wheels can be square. It's the right time for a your mum joke. Chair. Yes. That's fine, Rust. I hope you're doing okay.
No, you can. Which button was it? I'm trying to remember the buttons. This button. This button. I have one whole gold. And some tasty cheese. And some revolver rounds. And my sword. Okay. I just wanted to see what I'd actually picked up then. Oh. It's okay, so Porthos. I don't need to sit in this chair. I'm just looking at the ground now. It is really cute that he's trying to get closer to you and sit in the chair yeah, at the same day. Get, he's trying to get in physical same contact. Day. Same day. Same time. There we go. He wants to be in physical contact with both of us at the same time, which is cute, but... Because the sky's exploding, buddy. It's scary. Is it? Yeah. Uh... Seriously, if, if people with the fucking fireworks could fuck off and maybe either do it on the 5th or not at all, that would be nice. Considering it's... Where even is the fucking date today? I'm just so fucking... Mandesca. Can I interact with it? No. What are you trying to do? Oh, it's just a... It's a valve. It's a pipe. There was a valve on the pipe and I wanted to play with it and it wouldn't let me. But it was hard to tell what it was. The it's the 6th. 6th. of fucking November. Yep. Bastards. Okay, so that seemed to be a dead end, but there was stuff in there. Was it a dead end? I fucking don't. Uh, like I said, there, is, there, there are a lot of little secrets. This game is very much in the classic video game department of... There might be a level... But if you think it's linear, yeah, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> That's not how this works. You, you, there are secrets and secondary routes and all can, this other shit. Can I loot the corpse? Is that a thing I can do? I don't think it is. Uh, there are many ways to approach a problem, although right now it just seems to be. Huh. Uh-huh. So you, did you come down here or were you did you start down here? I started here because it's where the dead dude is that had my so, sword. I, get the I went in here. Yeah. And this right. is a dead end. Yeah. And then I went this way. And I went this I way. I don't remember this this demo being this difficult to find the way forwards. Maybe it's just really dark again and I can't find it. But dead end. So. No. It's okay, Stretchy. That's great. Was the, not a side exit or an exit drawer, is it? Doesn't look like it. I'm just going to rub up against the walls and see if there's any things I can't see. We, here's the mm, thing. You, you, tasty you have, you, okay, so, so here's... Okay, the game <laughs> has taught you what to do, but you, you're not... I haven't picked it up? No. Go on, then. The game gave you a cane. Yeah. Cane being, can be used to attack wooden objects. Yeah. Did you encounter a wooden object that the cane might help you with earlier that you could not get through because you didn't have the cane yet? Possibly. There you go. Okay. Well, I don't fucking remember, so let's go have a look. Then you can run. Not reduce to walking or anything. How, how does shift, one run? No, shift makes you sneak. Oh. Holstering makes you move faster. Right. See, this is where my keyboard becomes a problem. Oh, because your keyboard... Because my is... HK's all the way over there. No, I think that's... You can also... Yeah, yeah I can just use the um, one key instead. Yeah. That works. Wow, it's like they designed this game with people with weird keyboards in mind. There you go. Eh? You see in it? Yeah. Oh. There's a window in the way. Okay, we're just gonna smash the window too. Cool, cool. And there's the photograph. Ah, yes, the pretty music. Oh, that's why you're still fucking crouched. Tap control. There you go. That's <laughs> better. So crouch is is a toggle, not a whole function. Right. Okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> when I remember. I'll see you up and, and you move around as well. For the record, the mm -hmm. light in this game will refract off metal objects, including your sword. 
So you're so having your sword drawn. So what you're telling me is, if I leave my sword drawn when I'm trying to be sneaky, I'm gonna be less sneaky. Yes. That's fucking brilliant. Like I say, it takes you. Gold it, it, stars, these devs. Well, what you have to remember is, is that so thief would allow you to approach problems in a non-linear way. So the, all these lights here, one of the early bits of kit you could get was a, was a, a, a bolt for your weapon. It was a water bolt. So hey, is that a dude? So you could extinguish lights, lure guys into darkness if you wanted to be murderous, or slip by them if you didn't want to be murderous. You know, there, there was more options as a result. That's and a yes, dude. It absolutely, is a dude. But you wanna? Should I kill him? Do you feel you need to kill him? I don't know whose side is whose right now. Well, he looks like one of the guys who was down on the ground and. Yeah. But I don't know. I'm just gonna sneak past him. Not rambling, I'm pointing out the fucking game. I mean, to be fair, you're not normally wrong. Um, to be honest with you, Hans, I think uh, Slow's particular brand of um, talkativeness is pretty useful on a night like tonight because it gives Porthos something to focus on that isn't the horrible noises outside. Take his skull. Yes, 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 yes. You know when I'm finished fantasizing about taking a dude's skull, sure. Well, that's the draw of disappointment, isn't it? Ooh, that's not. Ooh, money. Fuck, I didn't know that you could open all the drawers. I knew you'd open the top, top drawer, but I didn't know you all the fucking drawers. Well, the more you know. So there's a secret later on that you have to get all, all the gold coins for. Sneaky. I'm not been able to do. That is a secret I know about. Hold left mouse for a strong thrust. Oh my. I didn't know it was that kind of game. He's got his paws on the arm. Well, let me just... In the butt. Uh, Mud hump! Oh yeah. No, like, no Seamus, not Hobby Smash. Yeah, Hobby that, Stab! As he is. He's just Butt kill. Looking very, very tired and very miserable, poor lad. He is. Because yes, fireworks are still happening and they'll still be happening for at least two more days. Though he's got a bit of a first world problems look to him at the moment. Oh I mean, shit, I picked him up. Yep. Yeah. You have to dispose of bodies and shit. It's a thief game. Well, it's in the vein I've, of a thief I've, game. I've, I've, never played of a, I've never played Thief. Let me rephrase that. It's in the vein of a classic stealth game, and as a result, those kind of mechanics are there. Okay, so, slow. You've played this demo before. Yeah. Where's the nearest porcelain bathtub? There isn't one around here. Oh! No, 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 you, the, the, there is a toilet later, and you can absolutely just stuff them in the toilet. And then they end up in the sewer. Later. Is there a pig farm in this demo? No. <sighs> like, all the best ways to dispose of a body aren't even here. Ugh. It's completely <laughs> unacceptable. Look, just because your weird level of knowledge, and it is weird, it is abnormal. Look, just because I did a degree in how not to get caught. You make a noise. <laughs> 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 he just fucking drop a corpse on his on his head. I tried to. Oh no! Okay, he's alert. God. God. That's okay. He's not anymore. There you go. Can't go play with your friend. <laughs> well, I was hoping it had stunned him, but I missed. No. Oh. Also, you know, people drop dead sometimes and just ha so happen to fall through holes in the floor. Right? Fuck no. Right? Moving on. Thank you for the scratches, mod <laughs> Oh, This is the point when everyone starts to be afraid of me, isn't it? Okay, that's the way I came, isn't it? 
pretty sure that's the way I came because yeah. I did the creepy well, where, creepy where through the. Where did the man who tried to kill you come from? He came from downstairs. Oh well, yeah. So and this guy was looking out the window. I want to see what he was looking at. Nothing of interest. Okay. And there is nothing in here except for a hole in the floor. So off we fuck. I ain't afraid of no squigs. You've not met me. It's almost like the game expected you to, you know, fight him downstairs. <laughs> ah, fuck that! I'll throw a corpse at him and get him to come to me. And not run around at the creaky floorboards and make him go, oh, what was that noise? <laughs> Look, I'm having fun, right, so that's what matters. There are those two more pits. Yeah, Ivan knows. Maybe I should put them elsewhere. Like... See, D Dark Messiah of Might and Magic was a really good game, but it oh. gave you options that you just couldn't do. Uh, Ooh, also, geez. the sex scenes just were just uncomfortable. Ooh, a key. Ooh, a gun. Okay, so stop. Uh... Tap R to reload firearms. Hold R to check the loaded ammo. <gasps> the, That's like so said, cool. There's no hood or anything like that, and it's also a classic fucking six shooter, so it's got a break on it. So, yeah, you know how when you first suggested this, I was like, "What the fuck is that? Why should I do that?" Yeah, I'm sorry. For the record, you can pick things up. If you drop it, it'll smash, and if you drop it near a guard, it will get their attention. You can use it to distract people. They, they have their moments. And on harder difficulties, they're, they're useful. <laughs> they're very useful. Yeah, but I'm playing on baby difficulty. You're cause... not playing on baby difficulty. You're playing on half moon. It's difficult enough. Ah! Cool. That's how I switch weapons. Most of us want to boot water solvent in the mines. A bed huh? pun? No, I, I mean, I, I'm a fan of what Funhouse did with the spike walls in Dark Messiah. Now, admittedly, it's been a long time since... It's been, it's been a hot minute since I played Dark Messiah. That's my more recent knowledge of it, is their playthrough. There we go. A decade ago when I played Dark Messiah through last. Creepy plague no, cult more than a cuddle decade ago. Jesus. More games need spike walls, is all I'm going to say. And physics-related bullshit. <laughs> and not in a half-life kind of way. It's so spooky. Fucking... You know what this makes me want really badly? What? Gotham by Gaslight. It's got a very 1900s, but <laughs> spooky, scary sort of feel vibe to it. Ooh, there's a thing in there. Are you serious? I fucking did not see that. <laughs> oh my... Hi, I'm Hobby Squig. I wander off in random directions and find I neat do shit. As well. I, just, I just crap at finding secrets in old school games. Like I was playing um, Ultra Kill the other day, um, giving it a go because that's got a demo as well, and I'm shit at it. The best gun I'm the, the gun I'm best with is the fucking hit scan gun because it's a fucking hit scan gun. It's relatively straightforward to use. The fucking shotgun is awesome, but also, fucking Jesus Christ, does that get me killed? Yeah, Seamus, agreed. Gotham by Gaslight is one of those things that has a really special place in my heart, and when I found out they were doing a game based on it, I flipped my proverbial oh, shit. Are they just still against the like No, they are not, and I <laughs> are angry. <clears throat> Excuse me. That got out, then. Oh yeah, um, for those that haven't spotted it, uh, this week's raffle is for a copy of Hollow Knight, which is a game that Slow particularly loves, and I love because it's about bugs. Hollow Knight is in the book. Yes, no, I know what you're talking bugs. about. Bugs! Yeah, Hollow Knight's great, and absolutely something we should play on this channel in the future. Oh, I fucking suck at Hollow Knight. You can play that one. I really like it. I think it's very pretty, but I'm shit at it. I'm terrible at it. You're better than I am. What did Slow say? <laughs> Indeed, Martel. Uh, fucking. Can I go in here? I'm, I'm really bad no. at, at 90 shooters. 
is the key takeaway from my, my time with like Blood, the demo for Blood and Ultra Kill was I'm I'm bad at ninety shooters. I'm more of a two thousand shootery guy. Not that I don't enjoy my an, any a ninety shooter every now and then. Because Blood was a lot of fun. An Ultra Kill I might be crap at it, but I enjoyed it. There's definitely a mountain to climb in something like Ultra Kill and figuring out bosses and oh, that's pretty. techniques and things. And... This game is very pretty. Oh yeah, no, like like, like everybody like, like everybody gives games shit about graphics these days. I don't understand it. It's not about graphics. It's about art direction, atmosphere, mm. using the tools available. Uh, this, this is not the most graphically fidel... Feck. Fidel? Fidel? fidel <laughs> it is not the most graphical... Nope, still really failing this sentence. This game does not have a lot of... Nope, still failing this sentence. This game does not have a high level of graphical fidelity. There we go, there got it go. in the end. Winner. Um, but at the same time, it's really cool to look at and play around in the world. It's not trying to be fucking Ubisoft and be like, you know, let's recreate London or some bullshit. Expressly referencing their new game there. Yeah, art, art direction and, right move and using graphics to your advantage is something that most modern AAA design has forgotten about. And it's to its detriment. And fucking the two guys in a shed that make this are capitalising on their fuck up. And I love it. Okay, stop for a moment. Mm -hmm. If you fire a weapon, you are going to be heard. Yeah, but there's only him. That you've seen. <sighs> Damn it. Fine. Yeah. Well, I, I played Ultra Kill this week and I'm terrible at it. <laughs> it, the, it was my key takeaway. Just... You hear that? I heard it. He's in the building. Yeah, I figured. And he's seen you. Yep. You're in a really light location. If you go stand over there, put your sword away and go stand in the dark over there. He'll not see you. Quick about it. There you go. No, he can't see. Could... I think he's on a patrol route or something. Hey, Nagling, how you doing, friend? You're right, he is on a patrol route. You see, so is he. Mod Hill, I'm, I'm with oh, you. Oh, can, like, like, can like, I stab him? Yeah, absolutely. Get your sword out and just press and hold one stab in the back and he, don't, he should go down. In the butt. There you go. Got to, now you got to hide the corpse, though, before his mate over there comes back and sees him, because he's going to see him in the street. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Got to wait until he's out of the way, though. Do, 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 do. Yeah, graphics should absolutely support gameplay. Um, it, it's something that, that Halo Infinite has dabbled with by the looks and kind of failed at. <laughs> they took the wrong lessons and feedback away. There we yeah, go. you see, the, the 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 problem is with specific with Ultra Kill for me is that it try it's got this whole style system, and as a result, I I I finish the level, but the game goes, you did bad, you get a D rating. I'm like, but I fucking finished the level. What do you want from me? It wants style rating and combos. I'm like, I'm just having fun surviving. You fuck off with your rating system bullshit. I kind of want to shoot him. And then it locks upgrades behind that system. By making them points based, it's just. Hey, Cyborg, yeah. how you doing, friend? That's not to say it's a bad game, oh, folks. Cool. It um, is a very good, good game. Good luck with the unload. Enjoy it. Okay, there's two of them. Maybe no shooty. Like, like if, if, if that's your bag, absolutely go enjoy it. It's not mine, personally, because I'm not very good at it. And that's fair enough. But I do think it's a good game. I think the, the art direction's fucking great. I think the music's fucking great. I think the bosses... Swords Machine was a lot of fun to fight. In Ultra Kill. Like, I, one of the reviews I, I, I got... Was reading for it was basically... Most people are going to cop out at Swords Machine. I was like, really? <laughs> really? People copped out at Swords Machine? No. Oh. Swords Machine's easy. He's classic boss fodder. He's easy. 
the fucking two fucking statues that come later were much more difficult because of the fucking rage mode that comes at the end of Bastards. Items can be pulled through fences and bars. Okay. But I'm getting off topic. I have only played the demo because the full game, as much as... A, the full game costs money. I haven't got money. And B, Ultra Kill's not my bag. I enjoyed the demo. I did finish it. But it's not... Not my bag. This, Gloomwood, is more my fucking speed. Gloomwood is more my speed. Okay. Slow. Yeah. I want your opinion. Yeah? There are two dudes in there. Yeah? One of them's got a big fuck-off hatchet and likes to stand around downstairs. Yeah. One of them is upstairs, and I don't know um, what he's got. Should I go inside yeah. and stab the bitch with the hatchet? Uh, do what you want. Approach it however you want. There's a lot of ways you can take it. You could just go guns akimbo and just mow them down if you wanted. I mean, it's an option. It's not the wrong option. Yeah, you can try to shoot them. The one that takes more than a couple shots to get down. Really? Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's putting an axe in your face. Here comes his friend. Oh, he has a shotgun. Oh, no, I forgot. Yeah, shotguns hurt a lot. Stab that fucker. I did! Oh, right. shit! You've got a guard function, remember? You need to learn to use that. Hey. Like that. Oh, fuck. Cause that I died! <laughs> Can you reach inside and kill the light? I did not think not. about that. Now, you see, that that is something I'd love to see come to Gloomwood, is the ability to fuck around with lighting. Because... That's, I mean, it's very, that's very Thief. Ah, well. We got a couple of really good butt kills, then. Yeah, agreed, Panda. I was expecting a headshot, especially right down. between the fucking eyes would kill yeah. them, considering I stabbed the others in no, the arse no, and they no. died straight away. But oh I'm my god, I'm Toilet Ninja. Also, you need to save, so it's forgotten everything. The, there wasn't another thing. You, so. can go back to, you, can, you can always go back. That's fine. Anyway. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. Um, in the arse. Cold Steel Suppositories, indeed. <laughs> um, I am a professional yeah. proctologist. In short, Ultra Kill. Good. Not my bag. Blood. Also really fucking good. I, I could definitely spend more of blood, but I'm just, I, again, I just suck, suck at it. Gloomwood. I fucking love Gloomwood. Um, a Medieval is another one by New Blood, this particular publisher, um, is like Hexen. I fucking loved Hexen. Like, it's easy. I never owned an N64, but I had distinct memories of Hexen and the like. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> That's fabulous model. <laughs> I will read oh. I will read that out in a moment when I'm not Are you aware that um Now is not a good time, dear. I love you, but no. Whatever Shit. it is. Um, he wrote books. That narrows it down. With a very friendly cover on the back that says don't panic. Douglas Adams. Douglas Adams. He also did video games, you know that, right? He did point yes. video games. Yes. Okay, I'm cool. aware of this. I just wasn't aware if you knew if don't never mind. Oh shut up. Sorry. I don't mean to piss on your chips, you I, know. I, I underestimate your, your knowledge of, of point and clicks at my peril, I guess. I wouldn't go that far, but it's gonna come out there any second. It's okay, I'm just a friendly neighbourhood bit of wood. He's gonna Remember you got a guard. Well, that went slightly better than the last time I faced him. Don't you think? More or less. Right. Guns and keys and a wheel of cheese. <laughs> nice one. I'm proud of you. 
Right. What was it I was going to say? That's it. Covert combat proctologist hobby of Squigwood Esquires. There we go. <clears throat> I got bullets. I got gun. Yeah, you see, I mean, I, I'm not necessarily a fan of uh, yes, a medieval's particular design philosophy, but I do think it looks really cool and that it has a design style unique unto itself. I fucking love that. Okie doke hands. But there are, there's a number of other games coming out that are like Quake-esque. Now, see, them, them I'm particularly looking forward to. Because um, I suppose out of the two, I'm more, I'm more of a Quake fan. Like, Quake 2 was absolutely my jam. Not that it was the best version of Quake or anything. I mean, it was pretty crap from a historical standpoint. But I fucking enjoyed Quake 2. Qu fucking that on un un Unreal Tournament. Like, I still boot up Unreal Tournament, the gold edition of Unreal Tournament, just to fucking fight Better. bots and shit every now and then. A fucking, like, fucking flat cannon, man. Flat cannon bullshit. I love it. Right. I'm going to do the smart thing this time, Slow. Okay, I, I, know, I know Ivan lost a good amount of fucking childhood when he should have not to stuff like Unreal Tournament and Quake. There we go. I saved. See? Oh, shit. Um, no, my keyboard fell off my lap. Oh. See, I, I don't know what Quake Champions is like, Destroyer. And I'm not a big fan of <laughs> um, faceless online multiplayer. Like, I fuck it. I like, like, some of my best memories are, when it, when it comes to PC gaming, are playing deathmatch with my mates. But just playing deathmatch with a bunch of people, bunch of people I don't fucking know. Yeah, I'm good. Um, when's your stream starting, Destroyer? By the way, because uh, there's no long stream tonight, so um, We're maybe we'll raid you. We'll go a little later. Or, or we'll raid destroy depending on when. Eight-ish. Cool. Yeah. Um. That's good because that means we'll we'll get to eat. What? <laughs> Still eat, eat, eat aren't you? Me. Fair play. I mean, you've not had much to eat for the last few days, have you? Yeah, no. Really? Sure. Do you want enchiladas or rum? Because those are your choices. Because we got chicken. Oh yeah, we do. So quick and easy is the plan. Because we're not ordering out. That's fair. Because people have buttholes and we're in lockdown again. It was UT, was it? Okay, Aladdin. Okay. What was UT? So, uh, uh, fun story about uh, Unreal Tournament Gold is a couple of years back. Our particular social group, our wider oh, social group, gosh. got together, and we're doing stupid shit where video games are concerned. And we got like a Bombonauts night up one night. Bombonauts is fucking great. I love Bombonauts. It's dumb. I love it. Um, but we also had like eight or ten. It was fuck. We had eight or twelve. There were about ten people. Oh shit. Who managed to get I on the fucked it. I fucked it. I fucked in, it. In, like a Discord call or whatever, and we were fucking. We managed to invade. Some fucking the shit was going on there. Some fucking um, UT servers, and it was nuts. It was great. You sir right, can rest right. in the okay, gold so hole. Your, your health. You have health. I remind you. So if you have your inventory. Yes, I need to do the thing with the eating of the cheese. Shotguns. Shotguns are great. Yeah, shotguns are fab. Except when you're on the receiving end of them. Uh, Monch. That was a long time ago. Monch. Yeah, it's cheese, not. Cheese does belly dick. Yeah, <laughs> we did. We managed to force off the locals. We managed to fucking get the locals to leave the server. That was just. We, we were really mean. We were really mean. Dumb. Why were we mean? What? I'm confused. We basically. Like, like anybody who knew who came onto the server 
because people saw that there was like 10 people on the server like, whoa, we'll go do this. Because we couldn't host a private server. Oh, the, yeah, the, the of course. The rules were, you come to the server, right, okay, it just became 10 on 1. <laughs> shit, I remember that. Really I felt confused. really guilty about that. Oh, shit. We just oh, shit. Play fucking UT. Quick, go hide the corner. Go hide the corner, quick. Quick, keep going. This works? This way, it's gone away. You can hide in the corner until he fucks off. Yeah. I'm just gonna stay here. We were efficient, said Hyphen. We were certainly fucking something. <laughs> oh my god, yes, like fucking lands and things. Like, I seriously considered when I was younger, like, like learning network engineering for the purposes of running like a LAN or something. I mean, they're, they're back in vogue now. Because, frankly, consoles are too fucking expensive. <laughs> Just stab at the air. Shit. Yeah. I mean, they still exist. They just don't exist in the way that they used to, I suppose. Stab him. Wait, I did. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, I can just throw him. Um, technically, he's in the room. That's weird. Um, uh, oh, he's sliding. <laughs> move those boxes. No, move them, not destroy um, them. Yeah, d I would if there wasn't a corpse in the way. There we go. No, the, the, the box in the corner. This box? Yeah. Why? Is it here? No. Okay. His head's in the wall. The game likes to, to... Because the game has... Fucking... Interesting mechanics like physics and things, it likes to hide things. There's that guy, halfway through a fucking wall. <laughs> Just his head poking through. Nice one, cyborg. Porthos is currently sliding off the chair. Sort of. Yeah, he he's okay. Um, he's breathing a little heavily. He's clearly not enjoying himself, but he's okay. Right. He's been he's been better. He's Have been you worse. Been investigating the cage. No, I haven't. I was worried about the dude that's upstairs. Okay. I was planning. I was planning on coming um, back down later after I'd well, murdered the dude. Because yeah. I know if I do that, it's going to make a load of noise and he's going to come and kill me. So. Fine, fine, I'll do it. I mean, on the plus side. Yeah, see, see, this is why I'm saying I'm sort of a 2000s shooter fan, because for me, that, that memory of LAN and getting shit together, that's fucking Leroy and a bunch of my old mates doing Halo and Halo 2 and networking a bunch of Xboxes together. Like, I, I think last year, before Those were the things fucking started getting days. really bad, I was tempted to run something like that. Like, get people over and do it. Because we own a house, we own two rooms, there's two TVs. We've got basically got the beginnings of a land set work. We could get enough fucking Xboxes or whatever together. Two teams of fucking eight. They can blast him. I was going to. Um, other dude only left. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I kind of blew that guy's dick off. I'm really sorry about that, mate. That was a bit harsh of me. I mean, you were going to kill me, but... You know? Just... See, like, th there's something to LAN parties and that sort of social things that's just missing with online gaming. I don't know what it yeah. is. Yeah. Well, it's the literal physical social aspect, isn't it? Mm, it's part of it. I it's the whole of it. Just gonna... Pop my corpses in that cupboard. It's my corpse cupboard. <laughs> head removal services. <laughs> me by head. Oh yeah, I'm not just a, a proctologist, I also do circumcisions. 
ballistic circumcisions. There we go. That's a good birthday. Not a not fucking bad way to celebrate. What a ballistic circumcision. No. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not keeping an eye on chat because I'm busy stacking corpses. Sorry, chat. I am the worst. But you know, there's bodies to pile, so See, I'll. Like, uh... like, I don't know. Maybe this. Maybe I'm just a big nerd. But that sounds like. I mean, not the getting toasted bit because I'm not that way inclined. But that just sounds like a fun afternoon, you know. Just hanging out with your friends, playing video games. Yeah. Yeah. I miss it. Yeah, me too. Oh, that, that, that's not, not <laughs> Whole family grown corpse me. pit. <laughs> Ballistic. Oh, I fucking love you, like you're fab. Right, you wanna like go upstairs and explore now? Now that I've uh, tidied my corpses away, yeah. I'm gonna put the weapon away and you move past it. No. There you go. You can put the pistol away. I think it's two. Two is well, the Well, oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Neat. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. There's something on there. Ammunition. Oh. Or is it, or is it an empty shell? It's a spent shell. Yeah, I can't do anything with it. Boo! Like Ooh, a letter. Let's read somebody else's correspondence. Report on Manor Sylvia. Captain. Captain, the men managed to confiscate one of the seals required to negate the dark magics blocking Lady Sylvia's doors. Oh my! We've reason to believe the foreigner is planning to take refuge within the Countess's high walls. The seal has been placed in the jailhouse, evidence locker. As for the other seal, it continues to evade us. A local resident who once worked as a manor servant claims it was lost during the last flood, and may have fallen to the tunnels beneath this district. As such, we have several men searching around the cistern entrance by the docks. Our eyes remain open. Nightwatcher Ramsey. And there you go. Look at that, telling you <gasps> what to do. Da -da. Locked. Um, but now I've got to go back into the the He's, room. So. Because it said the seal was in there. Switches. Docks, jailhouse. Boop. The gate has opened in the distance. <laughs> what? <sighs> Sometimes you're just like the human embodiment of a text-based adventure game, and it makes me smile. Do the other one. There you go. Right, turn around. Where did Bogman come from? He came from over here. I was going in there next. <sighs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, about that. How about that? Hey! Right, I could have where, actually where been Toilet this? Ninja. In the evidence oh, okay. locker. You can stuff them down the toilet. <sighs> okay, um, bear with me, chat. We will progress, I promise, but I need to do this for science, you understand. Okay, folks, let's find out how many corpses we can fit down a toilet. Is that bang outside or in here? That was outside. Because okay. it came with a really big flash. So how do I do it? <laughs> what? What the fuck? I'm going to go get another one. Yeah. Her net's dead. Eh? Uh, mass outages across the country for BT. Um, Fucking everyone's at home again. And because she lives on the spot on the arse in the middle of nowhere, yeah. um, she she got she got no interwebs. Okay, so we can fit. Oh fucking cock! Yeah, I'm on it, guys. Thank you. 
Slow. Van Hammer descends. Being a cunt. Have you done it? Is it dead now? Please don't put being a cunt as the reason you're banning them, because that will get me in trouble with Twitch. Fine. <laughs> there. Shove him down the loo. Record, my reason for banning was being a cunty bot face. Did you actually put that? No, because oh, good. Me not. Thank you. Okay, so wasn't the seal supposed to be in here, or was it in the jailhouse? Oh, it was in the armory. That's the armory, okay. So I know we can't fit any more corpses down the toilet, but I feel like these two need to have friends nearby because it's a very difficult time. So there you go. Let's give them some privacy. There we go. Yeah, well, they fucking deserved it. Don't ask, don't tell. Yeah, exactly. Let them do what they need and want to do. Thank so you for the scritches, Nurgling. The magics that was mentioned. You'll yes. The wibbly door and just... I did notice the wibbly door earlier. Now that the street is free, you can go and take a closer look. Can I lick it? How fucking quake is that? I love it. <sighs> hey, look at that. I need two hexagonal things. <gasps> To open this wibbly door. Keys? Keys in an old school video game? Who knew? <laughs> could be worse. Could they be should red... be okay, Ivan. They were living together. They, they could be fucking red and blue keys. Also, I'm pretty sure they were wearing plague masks, right. so... There's a sign over that arch. Also, there is. Yeah, you need to go and Yeah, that's a good spot. point. Thank you, game. I think I came from this direction, didn't I? Activate the phonograph. The graphophone. I think the next one's for a long fucking time, so... Right. <laughs> Activate itch. MacGuffin! I'm getting a fucking itch again. Nanny. Well, this this sort of like dark, sort of steampunky world mm. with magic and things is is very. Um, it gives me vibes of the Iron Kingdoms. Oh no, not again! Yeah. Oh, this one's open now too. Ooh. Wait, that's like the, that's where the jailhouse is. It's not like there's a D and D expansion coming out for it to play Iron Kingdoms Fifth Edition. Or Iron King was in 5th edition that I totally want to run at some point. This is very ominous. And I want to touch it. But it looks like it would be a bad thing to touch. Iron Kingdoms is the setting uh, that War Machine is in, yes. Uh, ah, I, fuck! Oh, fucking jeez. Yeah, maybe not. Run around. Um, I was yeah, only the Iron Kingdoms are, are the nations of, of humanity in the War Machine setting. Um... I actually kind of want to get some Horde stuff. I quite like the... Um... Behold, wild brain up. There you go. Yeah, the, the Legion of Evan Blight yes. stuff. I actually quite like <clears throat> the, the Elven stuff for them. Which is weird for me because I usually don't fucking like Elven shit. It's not my bag. But I, I like I like the 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 chick on the can't throw him there. Goat who with the bow. She's a cool. Oh one yeah, one. yeah, her. Yeah. That'll do. And I like the trenches as well. We will play Iron Kingdoms at some point, slow. It's just that, well, in, in, you know, in, the, in, the, the, the politics was a bit thick. Yeah, in, in second edition's defence, I hadn't played it in a year, and I didn't explain it great, and you don't have to do it the way I was doing it. I just fucking wanted to do whatever, and I fucked it up, quite frankly. 
You were fine. For some context, the chat, I tried to run the second edition Iron Kingdoms RPG game. We had a session zero. We did not have session one. <laughs> because it went pretty fucking disastrously. Uh... Character creation isn't as complicated as we made it out to be, put it that way. But yeah, the, the, there's a 5th edition coming to Kickstarter. That wall. Yeah. Punch or shoot that wall or something. Punch it. Oh, shit. How no. do you open that door? Can you move the crates out of the way? Well, that's what I was working on when you said punch the wall, so... Sorry, traditionally, sorry, doom logic at play, shoot the door, the door opens. Yeah, I figured there was probably the, 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 the more to it than just is, shoot is it, though. It's, it's well enough written, Ivan, I just they really did a terrible job of explaining it. And Matt and Rat and things are okay, a no, tabletop I... conversion uh, from I, their, I don't their... know. Ah, ah, what was that? That's a switch. Where did that go? No, Where was it? Right, bottom right. Just keep going right. You slipped the wrong fucking area down a bit. There you ah. go. Secret, Secret room. <laughs> Love you. Love you, you fucking dork. Oh, before I do the secret entrance, sneaky, sneaky. I'm a um. I'm gonna break my own my own rules uh, and eat I've on stream. Got, so I'm, when it comes to um, the Iron Kingdoms uh, mod hail, I was actually early this year. I was very lucky that I was able to get the first and second three point five D and D books. I could not get the Master <laughs> Nomicon because I don't have like five hundred quid. Um, hey, so Duke, I've how got you doing, the friend? First edition, and I've got because some very kind soul sold me their entire complete collection of second edition stuff. Everything for second edition. <gasps> so I've, I've got the whole. No box one will everything. ever know. And we were trying to play second edition specifically, but as I've mentioned, Jesus there's a Kickstarter fuck, coming. The fireworks are getting worse. There, there's a Kickstarter coming early next year for a fifth edition supplement that's set after the Grimkin invasion and after the sorry no no the Infernal invasion and shit like that that's all gone on in the setting and. That started the new sci-fi setting, technically as well. It's a big fucking part of fucking Jesus. But um, <laughs> will it work? It, prom it, it promises to be a rich and interesting uh, player ground for mm. GMs to fuck around in because the rules have been completely changed and it's a bit more wild and a bit more interesting. <laughs> Webby, I'm excited. Okay, so I came from there. Also, yes, Duke Silver, we, we've actually been discussing Boomer Juice TM um, earlier with, like, blood and a medieval, a bunch of other shit. Mm. Reminiscing about Quake and fucking a real fallen. Great. Leaky sewagey water. I love Prime Tier mm. Price Money, so just take your sampling of them. They're, they're metal. Who fucking. Ah, okay. <gasps> Monocle. I'm fancy now. Oh yeah. That's wicked. <clears throat> oh happy birthday, Nerdling. Oh shit, happy Congratulations birthday! Congratulations on turning twenty in your slow march towards an inexorable death. Wow. Cheerful slow. Congratulations, Nerdling. Please ignore Captain Doom Cloud. Breakpoint. Breakpoint's getting Breakpoint changes does on the need a tactical monocle. Breakpoint's getting changes on the 9th. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I have a monocle. Very fancy and very stabby. Oh yes. Oh yes. Boop. Mm. 
Keep doing that. Uh, the Grimkin Invasion and subsequent Infernal is the part I'm not fond of. You and me both. I mean, I get it. It was an interesting time in the setting. I'm sort of broadly aware of it, thanks to the Twitter page that they set up. That, For the record, that was proper smart marketing, was that Twitter page that told 140 oh. characters short stories. That was great, that was. Oh, fuck. He's going to shoot you dead. Not if I shoot him dead first. Yeah, about that. You go easy on the ammo requirements because you don't get a lot. Oh, uh, do, do, uh, do yourself a favour. Yeah. Him down. I was going to put him in here and then shut the door. Yeah, there's no one to fucking. Okay, sure. There we go. Yells. Pull the, pull the revolver out. Press him. Well, press and hold R. Do you see? Yes. Two it's remain. A, yeah, so you can see how many you've fired, how many you haven't, because you put, cause that, that that's a fucking neat feature, is that. I love that. I like the the there we go. going back to the comment I was replying to before oh. before suddenly violence. Your hobby had to do a violence. Uh, had to. I like the two nations at cold lukewarm war the best. Uh, I've been in Snatcher First Edition Color Army, but it's mostly some of the boxes. Uh, Cardo can fuck off. Uh, <laughs> fucking, I like them enough, but the the, the settings and, and everything kind of make things a little whatever from an RPG perspective. I mean, I like the, I like the, the fact that they're the, they're the first people to like, night, to, night. like make and deploy fucking power armor that was also bully you alive from the inside out. That's fucking metal, very metal. But. Um, can't do it without. Yeah, the the whole cold, lukewarm sort of war that was going on, that was pretty nifty and Lale and all that stuff and um, I think what's coming what the changes that have happened and everything I think it'll be interesting because it's kind of, until, until we get the supplement and until we know where the setting is, we don't know but Cardora Resurgent from what I understand and Oh, it's an interesting fucking time for the Iron Kingdoms, put it that way. It's not necessarily a time of open warfare again, but it's absolutely a fucking time of border wars and skirmishes and all the cool shit we love. So... Cardor aren't the bad guys. Cardor are absolutely not the bad guys. What hell? They're, they're, they have their grievances and some of them are fucking valid. Some of them are Is, also... is this a everything is just shades of grey kind of situation? To a certain extent, but it's also because it's... In, it's fantasy based on the real world. It's classic Russian. We want like all the land. Give me the land, you fucks. Oh, and he's being asleep. Upset that they didn't get all the land. That's good. He just did a little sleep walk. That's good. I felt it. That was weird. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. The, the fucking power armored torture model. That's actually a really nice model. I think that all those models are really nice models. They're they're tempting, but if if I have to if if like, the Iron Kingdom's line has a lot of cool models. Like, I really like a lot of cool models. Like, but I'm more of a fan of the Lael stuff personally. The the net exclusive version of um the fuck Jesus. Shit, I forgot the name. But it's uh oh, the the Lael mercenary hero. But the well, the version where she's got the flag and she's standing up to the drone. Oh, 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 reading time now. <laughs> the constables can't keep doing this. This is the third broken rifle this week. It's bad enough that we have to guard our own district. They claim they lack the manpower. But we've seen how the upper city estates are protected. No expense was spared for their equipment and fancy automated security devices. Now the only firepower we have access to are these shoddy leftover munitions they gave us. These rifles break and jam if you just look at them too hard. And many of us have resorted to using our woodcutting axes to just fill in the gaps. How are we supposed to stop the beasts now? Do they want our district to become like the Sootworks? Okay, so it's the big takeaways there. You're fighting the, the legitimate guards of this place, wherever the fuck it is. Oops. Why there are axes. There are beasts to be had, and Sootworks is a lost fucking place. Do I get to keep that? No, I don't. Ashlyn. It's the Ashlyn model. Ashlyn, the fucking fancy 
not Italian, not fucking German name that it's based on, basically. But for the record, the, like, like, like the, the Iron Kingdoms is a really cool set of settings, and and the the, the problem is, is, is in my own case, I'll let that get ahead of just just telling, letting people fucking build characters and play an RPG, and that was kind of the big that was that was the big cardinal sin I made, I think. Better. It's a setting that no one else but me really knew. Um, I was really fucking hot on the idea of telling a story there, but my players had no fucking clue what or how or anything. I mean, Hobby Hobby invested hard. Nowhere near as hard as Wheezy did. Wheezy went and read all the fucking books. Yeah, Wheezy fucking did the legwork. But unfortunately, two of my players couldn't... Invest that level of time. Uh, yeah. The, the problem was that... It wasn't even like it was a suggested reading, so it was sort of like, can you read this page and get back to me about it? And that didn't materialise, so... They sort of got recommendations. And they, they made really cool characters. But... I think we all made really cool characters. Oh, we did. Um, unfortunately, Leroy made a very complicated character. And... Warjack, right? Is that right? Uh... Is that what they're called? No, he no. made an Iron Head. No, shit, was it an Iron Head? No, the Kodoran steam powered armor bloke. Oh, okay. Um, they're actual faction specific. Man, man, uh, man of War. He made a Man of War um, Jack Marshall. <laughs> Which is, let's take the class that gives you the additional minion to control, and then all the power armor bullshit. So he he te he made the most technically complicated character you could. <laughs> Unfortunately, short of getting magic involved, and I believe he did even still have access to magic, which is not a dig at him, because it's he he loved the character concept. It was great character concept. Hey, we're know? here. Mechanical hey, husband. Hey, I know I'm, where we are. I'm fucking into that. That's a really great character dynamic. It's just... You just can't do the basic mechanics. It's kind of a problem. <laughs> and especially if the GM doesn't understand the fucking mechanics themselves. Hello! Oh, you did fine. Sort of. You explained them really well. I'm going to have yeah, some more Yeah, kind of hit the nail on the head there. And that, that, was, that was the death of that particular campaign. It's something I want to come back to. Mm. It's, that is exactly what happened, Hans. Yeah, it's it's something I want to come back to. I would love to do a 2.0 version, but I get the distinct impression I'd be smarter to wait for the, the Kickstarter and then to incorporate the ideas into my own ongoing D&D &D narrative <sighs> that I'm building. Are you watching the game, for poor Sarge? He's absolutely watching the game. Oh, you are such a sweet boy. Yes, you are. Hang on a minute. Oops. There we go. Look at that beautiful face, everyone. See, like, like the, the character, if I was to play, and I do, I do really want to play, um, second edition, um, I, I'd love to have a crack at playing a... Oh, shit, yeah, um, I see what you mean about the sword. Stormlight Warcaster, provided the GM would be okay with me letting letting me have Stormlight Warcaster armor. Because I did a lot of reading back in the day, and I'm fucking Jesus... It's it's doable. The, the 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 gadget gadgets and gear guide that's out there on the forums is a fucking amazing document for that game. Like the fact that it breaks down Mechanica and everything is just ooh, it gives you all the tools to make anything you ever fucking wanted because it breaks down the Mechanica weapon system in such a way that you can price up anything so you can make anything. It's brilliant. He is, isn't he? Buff, beautiful boy. Even in low light, he's beautiful. We, uh, Cyborg, we might be having steak later, because it's cheap and easy. And it oh, we're not having enchiladas then? Well, we, I, we need to use that chicken up to be fair. We do. Ooh, spooky wind. Spooky wind. Also, yes, Mod Hill. Ashlyn, uh, dear Lisa, was the model I was thinking of. Well fucking thought of. Right, so I went that way and have done the thing there. Can I put that thing in the thing? Is it a good idea to? Yes, I can. Oh, it's got a ratto on it. Fabulous. That's a really ominous noise. Can I take it back out again? I don't trust people. What if someone takes it? No, I can't. Okay. <clears throat> so, I'm killing guys that are trying to protect the town. That seems kind of dick of me. Am I the baddie? 
Well, Joey Panda, to, in, to, to a certain extent, thankfully, I guess, depending on how you want to look at it, there, there is a source book coming, and there are two more source books planned, provided the first one does well in the Kickstarter for 5th edition D&D. So you won't have to rebuild mechanics and jacks and both types of magic systems and everything because they're already working on it. But stab. I mean, whether it's any good or not, well, that's a different question. But they're, they're working on rules for it. And that's coming in January. And that's going to be a Kickstarter, I believe, which is another weird fucking Privateer Press thing. I get the distinct impression Privateer Press aren't doing very good as a studio. I think Games Workshop has been doing the right things big enough and loud enough for a long time that they've kind of shut out the mid-tier oh, fuck. companies uh... in a big fucking way. Like, even Corvus Belly, which publish Infinity, I think, have been struggling of late. Like, their, their, their model quality's gone through the roof and their universe building and all that shit is great. But their... With N4, their newest rule set, their rate of releases has gone through the floor. Like, they already didn't release a lot a month. And now... Oof, it ain't great. Games Watch has a lot to fucking answer for. Hey, Theo, did you enjoy your food? And what did you have? Oh, Porthos. You're such a fidget. You are. You're such a fidget. How am I supposed to do the sneaky butt stab on people when you're fidgeting, huh? <laughs> Look at me like that. He's looking at me like, why did you kiss me? That's weird. I found it. The, the whole social fucking whatever thing, congratulations on that, because it sucks when you don't feel like that. Like, like I'm talking about Iron Kingdoms, and I've been chatting with Mod Hale and others here in the chat, and we've been discussing it, but... like, I, I'm Yes, not, Hans, go ahead. I'm not in a state to run anything right now, and I'm not in a state to play in anything. I'm not mentally fucking cogent enough at the minute to do it. Which is a real fucking shame. Because I want to. Part of me wants to. Part of me misses playing. Ooh, D &D muscles. Or whatever, nice. But, um, I can't role play right now. <laughs> um, I've got enough problems with, with myself. Fuck. Don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. Don't yeah, see well, me. Yeah, when, when it comes to Kickstarter, Just and, turn and the, the, the fuck the, around the, and the leave. D &D yes. Version. Good boy. I, it's not that I've got reservations, it's more of a... Their last few things have all been Kickstarters. Their sci-fi stuff, uh, War, Warcaster, which has got some really interesting minis and stuff for, again, has all been Kickstarter funded. Like, they've just done their second wave of releases for that, which is vehicles and other things. Um, and that was an interesting Kickstarter. They raised the money, that's great. But... They're not producing them off their own back. They're having to get outside investors in. And I don't know how to feel about that. That doesn't give me a lot of confidence in the game itself. See, that's the problem, Mod Hill. No one's sort of like in the mind space. I mean, some people are. I, I, I got a, a, a friend of mine who, who, through this entire fucking thing, has played D&D six nights a fucking week. Without fail, either as a GM or as a player. I'm like, how the fuck do you do that? That was more. Shit. Like, like yeah, the, no, I, I had no chance then. I fucked that up royally. Ah, oh, well. I remember to save this time, though. So that's good. Oh, we don't yeah. don't have to start all over again. I see, that, that's really nice, Hans. I'm going to reward myself with cake. And were I fucking able to log into Instagram or whatever on the pad, I'd, like, do the thing. But being a bitch... As the case may be. Um, so it's not letting me do anything. Just mm, can I see? Gigantic asshole. Please slow. Oh, sorry. Um, don't be a piece of shit. Okay. That's looking really good, Hans. Yeah. So. The yellow's nice as well, I must admit. Uh, Hans nice has started yellow. using the Psycho for yeah, detail I've work. Yeah, telling me everybody's been buying it, apparently. <laughs> I'm a troublemaker, you see. 
How are you finding the Psycho now, by the way, Hans? Uh, now you've had a little bit more chance to practice with it. Because it is the kind of thing you do have to practice with, I've got to admit. Yeah, that's fair, Mod Hale. I've found that with a lot of the stuff that I've uh, backed on Kickstarter as well, especially sort of board game I mean, stuff. In, in that regard, I don't disagree, but more time, for those who remember more time, has seen some recent releases in that particular arena that have been wave releases, and they're really great. And now that we own a 3D printer, they've been really fucking tempting because they, they've been releasing the 3D files. And it's complete fucking warbands and civilians and ogres and mercenaries and civilians and fucking just it, oh fucking really cool models. He's getting excited again. I kind of want. <laughs> Very annoying. Nah, no, that seems like a bad plan. I'm just off. gonna put him. So it's yeah. like as, as much as I really do like the. Um, he can stay there. Legion of Everblight solo model, the, the lass on the on the goat or whatever it is. Um, I can't justify buying her. Not that I've necessarily got the money, but A, I don't play, and B, um, I'm not painting the building at the minute. I mean, Hobby is. Hobby's doing the stream every week. Hobby's doing plenty of, of painting at the minute. No, because that's not going to kill him straight away, and there's too many of them. I don't know what to do. Oh, Porthos. Really awkward timing, little mate. Butt stab. Oh, Porthos, no, sweetie. Cover your eyes. You don't need to see what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know. At the very least, I'm 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 happy to be getting more fucking support for all the D and D books. I'm disappointed it's not more second edition stuff, but as has been pointed out, second edition has its faults. It's wargamey nature and its reliance on minis first and foremost. Seeing as it seeing as it'll be a fifth edition plugin, I'm kind of hoping I'll be able to get Hobby and a few others to actually give it a go again as a setting, as a universe, and play around. We'll fucking see. He's going in there. I mean, I got rid of two dudes. Oh, shit. That's not bad. I actually always liked that particular model as well. You did a really good job. That was nice. May I see slow? Oh yeah, that's nice. Good job. Honestly, I don't know why it's me that's got the bloody painting stream. Some of you lot should be doing it. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm the same way, Marv Hale. I, though, I, I get the distinct impression whether or not this will be a splash release is... Yeah, is no! Uh, uh, dictated? Uh, 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 dictated? Uh, uh, it's no. dependent upon <clears throat> how well it does. Because I don't think they're in a position financially as a company to give long-term support otherwise. That's the impression I get from the way they do releases now and so everything. Am I going to drown? Is that a thing I can do in this? Stab him! Butt stab! Oh, Mate. shit. Oh. No. These attacks are easily telegraphed. There you go. I just 
Dump in the water, it'll be fine. That's the plan. Ooh. Attention. By order of the constabulary, all entries to the city sewers are to be closed and boarded off. Several city servants and officers report of beastly infestations plaguing the tunnels. Any persons found to be breaking quarantine will face legal ramifications and the constabulary will not expend brave officer lives to rescue them. <laughs> Sorry, that, that second bit made me giggle because it seems far too appropriate for, uh, for White right now, doesn't it? <laughs> Okay, buddy. Uh, right. Well, I've just killed a load of guards, so we all know what I'm going to do next. Thank you for the scratches, Grox. Oh, um, big belly rub. That nice puppy. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. He's leaning into me. Uh. Shit. <coughs> there we go. Sorted. This is going to be really interesting now. Uh, what do you know? Locked. Uh... See that, that hands. That's the kind of support you like to see. Like like some companies are doing right and making Kickstarter a a good and safe platform to take things to to look for investment. But then you've got companies like Steve Jackson Games that don't or need Kickstarter. Yes, Thunderbolt, who I've been waiting on for three fucking years, who, oh. have fi who, who have finally possibly shipped my Thunderbolt out, maybe. I fucking don't know anymore. Some people are getting thunderbolts, some fucking people aren't. Who knows? And now we wait. And we crouch. Well, when, when and comes, we boom. When it comes to privateer press, it, it's... Oh. it's a, They are a much smaller company than people give them credit for these days. Poor so sweetie. The, the glory days of them being the alternate to, things, to, to the Warhammer brand are, are well behind them. Games Workshop has done a really good job with Shit. Age of Sigmar, and um, 40k is, is, has got a resurgence out of the fucking 8th edition. So, yeah, they're basically fucking dead in the water. Their new sci fi brand appears to be. Come on, come back. A weird attempt to redo, if you ask me. I don't know. Butt stab. Oh, Maxi Mini's got good shit. I, uh, I bought the. Not right now, Bobby! They're, 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 oh, they're God, Dark no. Angels, so I'm trying to call them Dark Angels. Ugh. I bought some of the Dark uh. Angel torsos from them. The the Primaris ones, uh. that Primaris scale. They're great! D do you mind? They've got, they've got, that's up. That's Shit! Up. Throw him, throw him and run! Fuck! Stab him, or shoot him, or something. There you go. Scritches for the cheeky boy. Thanks. Thanks for nearly getting me killed, dog. <sighs> you're lucky you're cute. Thank you, Slow. He's using the armrest as a sleep rest. And basically, hobbies just like. Uh, hobbies I am on the edge of my seat. If and not because of the tension. Tonight. For a second there, mate, I thought your eye was damaged. But it's not. It's just the the the, He's just... the the light and everything is refracting off your eye in such a way that it makes it look like your eye's fucked. That's nice. <laughs> to know that you've that, got that he's hundreds healthy. of pounds worth of investment. Well, if he was hundred pound a hundred pounds worth of investment, it would have happened since he went to the vets, which would just be really fucking unfortunate. How dare you take me to the vet, father? How Aww. dare you? Yeah, I bet a hand. See, I got mum squig to take Porthos to the vet, so I didn't have to deal with any of that. <laughs> Porthos is secretly the establishment. He's a cute traitor, though, isn't he? Oh! 
shipping manifest. Yay. 9 a.m. Timber from the Tithe Wild to crates. No shit. I was thinking. I, know, I actually. I haven't 10 actually had anything from Maxim. I was thinking of someone else. Shit. Blackwater Spine Gators. One barrel. 12 p.m. Ash Brew. Two barrels. 3 p.m. High Cleft Dark Plums. One sack. Oh my. 5 p.m. Gold Fee from Sir Winslow. One sack. <clears throat> 6 p.m. Redwood Craft Side Table. Who ordered this? It's ugly as sin. B. Burley Jonathan. <laughs> I'm just making a mess now. It's the Maximini who do the really good orc stuff. That's how I know. Yeah, and the interesting sort of additional stuff for guards. Yeah. Sorry, so many, so many second or third party companies these days, I always fucking forget what each thing you will do. No, I wasn't thinking of Amble Industries. Though I, I bought their, I have bought Amble stuff in the past. I'm quite, I quite like it. Um, it's not ski ball. I don't fucking remember. It's been a while. I'm out of touch when it comes to mini stuff, to be honest. I'm out of touch when it comes to Games Workshop because I'm still super fucked off with them. You know, in general, but specific oh, to Ninth Edition on. and that bullshit. Uh, they were European. They take Euros. Better. Um, but uh, yeah. I'm still fucked off with their, their ninth edition bullshit. I'm sorry, that was not an excuse. I don't care. They did the right things in the wrong way at the wrong fucking time, and it should never have fucking happened in the first place. Are you ranting, dear? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Which is why Hobby, Hobby and I bought a boatload of Infinity stuff. That Hobby started painting with the Armata. I, I, I was going to say, I've not started my own stuff yet. I base loaded stuff, tried to paint a Dark Angel, got super fucking anxiety problems, and then never. I've, I haven't been there in six months. I haven't picked up a paintbrush since. Fuck off, has it been six months? It was March. We're in November, so it's actually been more like nine months. Yee. Yeah. Time flies. I want to, but any time I think about it, I get... Oh, I've been this way already. You can tell because there's corpses here. Like I want, I like I want to fucking start painting. Hans my wants to know what ninth Ed BS. I, I I want to start painting my pano for inf infinity. I want to start getting that together. Forty k mod hail. Um, but I, just, I, can't, I can't. Slow no do the fantasy. Ninth edition of forty k, the release thereof, and the complete fucking shitstorm surrounding it. Oh wait, are they the guys I killed? Yeah, I told you they're, they're, they're just they're guys sort of. I told you. I didn't realise that that would be how I... I didn't realise that would be how I encountered them again. Uh, the entire fumbled 9th edition launch. Was it fumbled? I haven't really paid that much attention. FOMO. I I'm absolutely terrible. Oh, right, yeah. The, the, the announcement itself, the FOMO bullshit, the entire fucking... Oh, now launch. I can have a fucking lantern. Great. Mm, that and, and th their particular choice of releases. Necrons couldn't be fucking happier with that. That entire faction's got a, a do over. More fucking space marine shit. Uh, I mean, it was expected, but you could have done sisters or something. I mean, fucking hell. Oh, I dropped the lantern. Shit. I mean, don't get me wrong. I get it. Space marines sell, but I can't see. Yeah, it's really dark in here. I fucked up. Uh, v. Remember? Oh. Well, it, it said press F to pick up the lantern. Yeah, and then it gave you a secondary bit of text that told you how to... Oh, I didn't I, I didn't actually see that. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Are there gators in the sewer? No, there are not alligators in the sewer. Yeah, quite frankly, the, the way Games Workshop does their releases at the minute pisses me off. 
particularly fucking furiously, if I'm honest. I fucking hate it. So it's not a way to do business. Or well, it is, and that's part of the problem. Yeah, and that again, that's part of my problem with the rollout of 9th edition. 9th edition has been... Woo! Necron box! Space Marine box! And here are some other Necron things that are happening, and that, that's it. That's it. That's all you've done. What about, like, Eldar, that are still using sculpts from 92? Nah, fuck them! Warp spiders? Nah, fuck them! Where'd he go? Worst place, they're not even necessarily good releases. There's another thingy. Uh, phonograph? Gram gramophone? Phonograph. All I'm saying is Xenos players don't get enough law. <laughs> Xenos players don't get enough law. I think law. we can all agree on that. Yeah. How old are the catch gen sculpts? Um, which ones? Because there, there are technically there are two generations of catch gen sculpts. There is the initial plastic box set, which Dipanda's about right. They're 95-ish. And then there's the 2010 command and heavy weapon sprues that came later. Ruh-roh! Well, Put the sword away, Dingus. You can move faster. But it makes me feel safe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in danger. No, plastic canes were earlier. Oh, wait, no. No, you're right. Yeah, plastic canes it's came out of plastic fine. capture. You're quite right. Uh oh. I see a corpse. And I didn't put it there. I am not a big fan of corpses that I didn't create. Well, you see, Buck Rinch has hit it on the head there, but again, so has Hans. Space Marines sell. Don't get me wrong, my particular apathy towards them is not based out of... Uh, Anything other than the fact that I'm fucking tired of Space Marine releases, but Space Marines do sell. Oh goody, grudge noises. And the the, the problem is, is in a sewer. You, for those of us who remember Seventh Edition or earlier, the Taldar people complained about Taldar for years, literal fucking years on. Taldar discussions are going on, so it's not like Xenos players don't <coughs> have it good every now and then. The problem is they have it too good, and then they never get it good again for a decade. Okay, my options are... Get the lantern out and see if the thing that made the noise is actually over there, or don't. Yeah, so you do, like, like, fucking bring back, like, Doom Rider shit. Doom Rider was okay. fucking... Doom Rider was stupid. Doom Rider was great. Fucking will forever be fucking <clears throat> voiced by shit. What's the name of the clown? Uh, Apocalypse. Doctor Roxo, the yeah, rock and roll clown. Yeah, he'll g forever, g he'll, yeah. Doom Rider will forever be Doctor Roxo in my head. I don't care what they do with him. Uh, Sir, you are being haunted. Remember, your speed at which you move affects how noisy you are, among other things. I know. No. 
Why not? Freak the lights at first. Oh, shit. <sighs> okay. For anyone left in this dreaded station, these levers control the pressure gates in the system. The levers, as they run leftmost to right, control room, storage room, main canal, slash pump room. If you're struggling to navigate to the corresponding gate, you can follow each of the pipes to their destination. Take care not to forget to fill the lantern, as the cr crowmen have been quite aggressive lately. I've dismantled the lever to the pump room and shelved it in the storage room after the last attack. Spoopy. So, we gotta go get that lever back. Look ahead. That's no gator. It's no gator indeed. Or save how smart finder says. Yes! That was exactly what I was planning on fucking doing. <laughs> Might want to pull the lantern away. You have made a friend. Oh, this is just all sorts of creepy. I really like this game. t pose it. I'm not fucking t posing that thing. I don't even know what it is. Do you have any shotgun shells left? Yeah, you're gonna have a bad time. Do you have any shells? I'm checking, I'm checking. Maybe? Tap off. Yes. Yeah, you got three. That was four, wasn't there it? There are more than three crow men in the sewer. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Zathio. Crow person. Crow people. Looks like um I don't know if this will mean anything to you, Slow. because uh, I know you're not a big fan, but um what? it looks like when Adam tries to make a scary face in Beetlejuice. Okay. It's like the same shape head. Awesome, thank you very much, Cyborg. Yeah, okay, was that wasn't so bad. Okay, so the main canal's not open. We need to go to the storage room. But that's over here too, isn't it? If it bleeds, we can kill it. I don't know if it bled. I weren't sticking around to find out. The crow man will remember this. Splotchy steps from face bird. It's a really creepy way of going to sleep, dog. Oh, he's fine. Sorry. He's not closing his upper eyelid, but he's closing his inner eyelid. Oh, yeah, he does that sometimes. It's weird. So, it's 
creepy. It makes him look like Demon Seed, doesn't it? Yeah, it's creepy, man. I don't like it. Speaking of creepy and weird and don't like it, actually, my um my ring finger has been on the sneak button for so long that my finger's locked. Because it's a toggle function, do you? The sneak isn't. Okay. The crouch is, but the sneak isn't. Oh, that one's behind me. Or is it? Apparently Marvel's oh, it's coming right at me. Fucking fab. God, they deserve to crash and burn. It's all you. But it's dead now, so I don't care. Unless he. Oh, Christ, I hope these aren't a hive mind. Now you can use a lantern. Trying to get a good look at them without. I'm sorry, but like, like everybody wants a destiny and huh. or a fucking whatever, and no one can have that. And okay, neat. If you release a busted janky piece of shit, you're gonna fucking sell terribly. Sorry. Something that was pointed out in something I watched today is that that people do a lot of research these days into what games they're gonna buy, and they listen to reviews and influencers and article and read articles and do more than just watch a flashy promo these days. They're, they're not willing to just drop 60 quid. As it's going to be 60 quid soon here in the, the UK. Fuck is that? On a fucking game release. Oh, that's so the, the handle, isn't it? It doesn't make me fucking surprised in the slightest to hear that it didn't sell as they projected because their projections are always stupid fucking high as well. Wait, what didn't sell? Marvel's Avengers. Oh that. yeah, but it's wank. Yeah, it's... The problem is the game loop itself is not great. <laughs> yeah, Jim Sterling ripped it the fuck apart. Yeah, he's and not, as much not. as he may not have the ear of a certain demographic of gamers, he's got the ear of a lot of folk. And if he rips something apart, it's usually for good reason. I'm going to have to go up there at some point, aren't I? I can just fucking see it coming. No, it, it's fine hands. Like, like you'll get the final version of Final Fantasy VII version two, or whatever the fuck it is, sometime just, be, just, just before the apocalypse, probably. Boy, that's fucking going. I mean, I'm sure it'll be good. It just, you know, it'll take the heat death of the fucking universe before it comes out. May actually even be the final fantasy. Yeah, I know, you were talking about 14, but there's nothing wrong with 14. I like 14 well enough. I mean, I'm more of a fucking Knights of the Republic sort of gameplay style fan, but that's me. I'm weird. Mm. Each to their own. Like, like, I was seriously hankering for fucking World of Warcraft the other day. Like, really wanted to play World of Warcraft, but I'm like, that's fucking weird, but okay. I think I kind of missed the boat with that WoW. Is Rocket here, but here's the real question. Did it sell? Because if the answer is it didn't do as well as Jedi Fallen Order, they're not going to keep investing there because they're fucking idiots. We are absolutely heading for a second game in Crash, Cyborg. We're not fucking careful, probably. Who knows? Yeah, they're, 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 not, they're not releasing sell figures for it, but the, the simple answer is, if it doesn't sell, if it doesn't get cult hit status, it's not going to sell enough to be sort of money, so they'll, the, the executives and the people involved in the money making will go, oh, maybe we shouldn't. Fucking really? Because this game didn't sell well, so maybe we shouldn't. It's okay, the Star Wars license will be with someone else in a few years, there's no way fucking Disney are going to leave it in a, EA's hands. Or maybe they fucking will. Maybe they'll do it just to spite us. They're, they're fucking... We bought, we bought fucking Star Wars for so much money and now you fucking don't know what you want. So we'll just fucking give you shit. Am I supposed to go down there slow? 
Who knows? You've, Who knows? You know you've played this. Come on, talk to oh, me. Oh, no, yeah, no, you're Please. absolutely meant to get out of the hole. Okay. You, you were... Oh, you've already you left the lantern on there coming for you right now. Did you fucking even aim, or did you just fucking shoot into the darkness there? Here comes another one. Another one. I died. Right and yeah, you know, yeah is... the first one I, I, I shot, I, I knew where it was and I shot it. What were you going to say? Like, this is a what, sorry? Yeah, yeah, this is a stealth game. Right? Look, it was really fucking dark in the pump room. I couldn't see anything <laughs> down the hole. I didn't know if I needed to go down there or not. And there's an important part of that um, phrase that you uh, forget about, dear. It's a game, which means when I die, I can just fucking respawn and try again. <laughs> And let's face it, folks do not come to my channel to watch me speedrun things and do things without dying, because they know they ain't going to get that here. Pump darkly and carry a smelly shotgun. Nice. Ow. It is, isn't it, Ivan? Hell of a lot of words for I love you, but shut the fuck up. Yeah, see, Hans, that's the right way to fucking do it. I mean, Destiny's getting a new expansion in like five days. I haven't played in months. Unfortunately, that does affect my time with it, though. Because I've missed a lot of shit. Okay. Now I know what I'm doing. I would imagine they let him destroy the game because the game was doing terribly and wasn't earning money. Oh, I think Final Fantasy XIV 1.0 is not well remembered, if memory serves. I don't know why I've never played it. I, yeah. yeah, I know, but, but... Square Enix aren't exactly the best developer in the world. They're pretty not great, really. In what sense? I mean, on average. On average. I mean, they're all, they've are they done some great games. But they're not doing so great of late. Version 2 of Final Fantasy XIV feels more and more like a fluke than solid design. No. Solid management. The design's fine. It's a, lo it's a fucking lovely game. It's definitely a cool uh, online multiplayer game. I should really go back to my free trial. Did you kill it? Yep. You've seen what I can do with a shotgun slow. Oh, it did. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. What? Use the lantern. Use the lantern. Don't use the lantern. Use the lantern when appropriate. You use the lantern when appropriate. You know, not when you've just dropped down into a fucking cesspit full of fucking Birdman. I was... Oh. Birdman! Crest on Birdman's helmet! Yeah, see, the, the thing there is, 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 is that on the slightly harder difficulty, they don't die into a, they don't die on a single shot. They, they take two shotgun rounds, and there's half as much shotgun ammo. Why do you think I said I was going to play on baby mode? Because otherwise, we wouldn't have gotten anywhere. 
and the stream would be boring. Ooh, an elevator. Oh no. Um, BRB. I sneezed. Now imagine having done that stealthily and not killed everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're dead. It's fine. That uh, fucking sucks. It really does. <laughs> no, come back! Oh. Like the slow, not the squig. <laughs> Um, yeah, like no, that. I can't endorse that. <clears throat> well done. I'm proud of you. Let's try that again right, with put, less put getting the... off of the elevator. Hey, idiot. What? Put the sword away. Put it somewhere in a minute. Put the sword away. There you go. Now get the lantern now. I can't see what you're doing. I could see what I was doing perfectly bloody fine anyway. You also move faster because your weapon stowed. He's, he's so bossy. Because you came down into the sewer to do something and you've not done it yet. So Theo, House Squig does not approve of lighting people on fire unless they deserve it. Because you haven't got the crest. Crest! Yes, I was looking for the crest. That you could hear there, just. Eh? Huh? Listen. No, 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 no. Left. There you go. Now you can hear it. Well, it's not in the elevator. Where the fuck is it? Is it up there? Well, it's behind there, at the very least. Oh shit! It's a bird. <gasps> Bub. Okay, now we can fuck off. Uh, now we can fuck off? Just call the elevator back. Yeah. I'll do it again. Yeah. What the- mm. Well, wait till it goes down again, and then rather than just expecting it to go up by itself, look for a, a lever or something. Unless they are Michael Moore. I am not saying anything about that. The ghost of Michael Moore's relevance claimed too many lives that night. You can pull the elevator down now. I gotta wait for the elevator. Do you wanna play? Go! There's a. It went by itself uh, the first time. Maybe pull the lever through the. Yes! Okay, there we, there we go. I didn't do that last time, it just buggered off by its sin. Probably because it's scripted to do that. Oh, I thought it was going to crush me then. I don't need that. Ooh! Useful. Awesome. I beg your pardon? Street. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Not the elevator, I want that one. There we go. Open the gate! It is not unlimited power. Limited power. It wasn't found in rancid ship water, it was found on a shelf high above the ship water. Yeah. 
Uh, it's probably been in the shit water, though, let's Green face has it. A nuclear glow and nothing bad have ever happened from that. <laughs> Says Bruce Banner, also known as the Hulk. Did you go down there? You did. Down where? No. Down there, yeah. Right, go put the. I'm gonna go put the lime in the coconut, don't worry. I'm just, you know, making sure that no additional dudes have spawned. Ratto Burbo. Ooh. Red carpet. I'm in the fancy place now. <gasps> Sparkly noise. How Dark knock. Doctor calling. It is I, the doctor. Oh shit. <laughs> cutscene? Cut cutscene. Oh shit! I did it! I done did the thing! You Don't take this away demo. from me. Don't take this away from me. You managed to, to murder your way through the demo. I done a big murder! <laughs> So what did you think? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was fun. It was really nice, really atmospheric. Do like. Um, what is is up your... Oh yeah, it's totally up my street. <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd like it. Um, as everybody's probably figured out, I'm not great at the stealth aspect. Yeah, you... Yeah. But that's okay, there are other ways to do this. There's more than one way to skin a crow person. What do you think of the the, the, the crow sewer, people? Sewer and the crow people. I thought that was fab, though. Um, when it started with the the creepy little grudge noises to begin with, I was like, "Don't you fucking tell me that he's picked a game for me to play that literally has the only thing that wigs me out in it." <laughs> <sighs> you expecting the fucking to come out of the water or something? Oh, I didn't fucking know what was going to happen, but if there'd have been anything actually in the water, I would have punched you so hard. Stealth is optional on the difficulty that Hobby's playing it. Stealth is, is basically mandatory on anything higher than, than, than normal. Half moon. Totally. Easy, medium, and hard, and then insane. And then murder mode. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was fun. I, I quite enjoyed that. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wishlist it like it suggests doing. That was fun. The fucking Maximo, Jesus. That, that was a, a nice little intro to the game, definitely. I like that. Yeah. Um, and... Let's finish it's, up with uh, 15 minutes to spare. Yeah, it's uh, quarter to eight. Question is, do we do something else for 15 minutes? Or do we fuck off? Well, is, any, we, is anybody... We, we, we've gone longer than normal anyway. Yarp. As you're aware, there's another stream finish starting up sooner or later. Years. So maybe finishing it at a smart time. Also, let's take us out and someone downstairs. Yes, that's a good plan. Um, yeah, let's do that. And we'll let the, the sleepy papa lounge somewhere where he's actually got some space and where I'm not going to fall could just quote Harvey Birdman in the Space Mutiny. Could. I mean, we already have done a little bit. Um. Zombie Sewer Gator. Right. So we do, do have both episodes of The Mandalorian. To oh, on. yeah, we can watch Mando. He's a good plan. He'd cook, regardless. But anyway. Uh, yeah. Uh, being a grown up is so boring. Slab hard cheese. Uh, what was I gonna? Th yeah, you 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 talk to people about how cool Gloomwood is while I um try and Gloomish figure out if we can raid anybody. Yeah, oh. Quake Engine, <laughs> Bush also, Era, Watergate. I mean, it's a little a little early, but Oh, uh, for, for those of the, the Break Boys players in the particular chat, 
while the raid recommends starts at 150 or 160 fucking it's gear 150. level, you really want to be closer to 260. Yeah, that's something I should probably work on tonight, actually. Having ha, the, Seeing as on the night there's a bunch of changes coming to Break Boys that includes levels well, up to 20 and okay, raid gear and other shit. It's okay. Um... Yeah, cyborg. Fucking yeah, you, you want to be closer to. Do you have a recommendation for someone we can raid? So yeah, d d yeah, people. Considering what's going on at the minute, stay off the social medias because it's currently one garbage fire or a dozen. I mean, unless you like that kind of thing. Uh, Porthos is wearing a shirt, Hulu, because there are fireworks going off and it calms him down a bit. Yeah. Not a lot, but enough. Ooh, good plan, Modhale. You have fun with that. Yeah, uh, Cyborg, if you've got a recommendation for a um, for a raid, um, then please do let me know, because uh, it's that or we um, raid uh, the Dark Room Interactive, which is fun, but, you know. Gotham's candy. Cool, cool. Right, uh, before I do anything else. Graf, you have won a copy of Hollow Knight. Congratulations, friend. I will send you the code later. Um, oh, I cannot raid that channel, apparently, Cyborg. Um, some people have their settings so that only people that they're following or friends with can raid them. That's fair, considering yes. assholes. Yes, exactly. So, in that case... We'll do this. There we go. Right, we're going to raid... Um, the Dark Room Interactive. So, thank you very much, folks. It's been absolutely fab. I hope you've had as much fun as we have. Um, thank you to the folks that have signal boosted. Thank you to my followers, my subscribers, folks that cheer and donate, folks that just stick around and chat for a bit, folks that lurk. All of you. I really do fucking appreciate it. So thank you so, so much. I want you all to take care of yourselves. I want you to take care of each other. Take care of your pets at this time of fucking year as well. Give them big hugs. Wash your fucking hands. And go and enjoy the dark room. For those that know what I'm talking about. You awake to find yourself in a dark room room